Hello everybody, my name is David and I'm going to show you uh, some of the settings and some gameplay footage of uh, Dead Island on the PC running at 1080p and uh, for YouTube users with Internet Explorer 11 if you're uh, using Windows 8 or 8.1 or you can use Google Chrome to get 60 frames per second uh, so let's take a look at some of the uh, settings I have so again 1080p uh, texture quality high everything is maxed out in game this is high high settings you can get in in game right here um, so let's take a look at the game here and you can see the frame rates I have fraps running right now the free version of fraps um, so you can kind of see what, what my frame rates are at any any given second and I'm using shadow play to uh, record And what I have here, I just have a, a first generation uh, Core i7-960 processor. It's running stock. It's quad core for uh, cores of hyper threading. It's the Core i7-960 again, like I said. Uh, running at 3.2 gigahertz. Um, it will go up to about 3.33, 3.47, or 46, somewhere in that range. Depending on if there's load. Um, that's just the the boost frequency running just a six gigs of ram corsair 1600 megahertz timings of seven eight seven i believe 20 running at 2t which is xmp profile i have myself a gigabyte gtx 780 ti which has a base clock of uh 1020 and a boost clock of 1085 which will happily boost using GPU Boost 2.0 up to 1150 megahertz, which I don't have that showing at this time. Um, but it will boost anywhere from 1137 uh, in increments of 13 megahertz up to 1150 on its own. So that's pretty cool. So just showing you some PC footage here of Dead Island. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting over 200 frames per second no matter what I'm looking at, what I'm doing it looks like here so that's pretty awesome uh, there is a lot of gore in this game a lot of uh, blood there's some cussing in this game so if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff you might uh, want to turn off um, your monitor close your eyes or change to a different video but uh, here I am pretty awesome game. I love it playing co-op with friends. It's, it's pretty awesome. And I like doing headshots, neck shots. Pretty cool. And I don't know why um, you can't uh, display 60 frames per second using Internet Explorer when you're using Windows 7, but it does seem to work with Windows 8 and 8.1. So, either way, that's, you do have some options, like I said, Google Chrome or Internet Explorer 11 using Windows 8. Anyways, look at that, all that blood. Want a piece of that? I don't think you do. You know, and I almost wonder if this sword I have, I found the sword near the end of the game and, um, I don't remember it being so powerful, but I did give it to somebody, and I don't know if they modded it or just copied it or hacked it, but take a look. Um, I have in my inventory the Mind Blowing Zed's Demise, and so it only takes or requires level 1 to use it. Uh, that's the first thing I noticed. I don't remember it being that way before, but I don't know. And then look at the damage. It's not that crazy 164 plus 119 so I don't I don't know if that's normal um, for this weapon or not but either way that's what I got so so now with no action on the screen I'm getting 184 frames per second okay it's the same I guess 190 okay and I know I do have a skill point I can use but at this point I'm just kind of showing you a few minutes of uh, this game yep see I told you I do have skill points to use I know 
The game just tries to help you, I guess, right? It thinks it wants to help me. And, you know, I am, I am pretty impressed with the graphics of this game. Some of the textures like this are pretty decent. It's not so blurred out or anything. You can see what it what it's supposed to be. Even going up to a tree, a uh, trunk like this, pretty detailed. Um, you know, it's not too bad. You know, this is a DirectX 9 game, open world sandbox, so you're going to expect some texture quality to be uh, varied. Some is going to be pretty decent, some is going to be uh, not so good, but all this to me looks pretty good. Now that there looks better, better quality to me, maybe not that part right there, but uh, you know, it's not bad. Now this game could use you know DirectX 11 API you can use God rays right there it would be awesome for having God rays having the light kind of shine through the leaves right there um, we can use tessellation on various parts like the tree trunks like Far Cry 4 has um, you can use all kinds of different sh uh, shadowing um, you know advanced DOF for the better shadowing you can definitely take advantage of you know remaking a game or redoing a game something like this with better graphics you can use uh, you know the Nvidia's GameWorks technology for like the fur um, or it just the hair in general you know um, how the clothing fits and how it, it moves you know I think that would be awesome so there's a lot of things you can do um, not including physics because you know, I do like physics. It's probably one of my favorite things that NVIDIA does, but it's something that AMD users are kind of left out. And uh, that's not great. It's not really good for gaming, you know. But everything else, it seems like, on the GameWorks uh, stuff, it seems like in AMD can use it because a lot of it's CUDA-based and a lot of it's something that AMD can use and, and implement into their uh, their cards too, so... Because their, their cards already do it already. It's just a matter of uh, optimizing their drivers to take advantage of it. So, But yeah, I do like this game overall. Um, seems to get better reviews on Metascore.com than uh, some of the other ones like Riptide and you know some of the other, thing, other games that's in, in the same franchise. Let's see, still alive? Oh, not anymore. Look at all that bleeding out. That's crazy cool, I think. I love it. You know, still over 200 frames per second. You know, that's that's pretty good here. And this, uh, my card here, it is it is faster than a uh, stock uh, GTX 980. Um, I don't know if it's faster in every game possible because you'd have to test the heck of a lot of games to make sure of that that claim but uh, I've seen reviews read different um, you know opinions but this card is faster than a stock GTX 980 um, but of course if you overclock both of them um, you know things get kind of more narrow they, things get to be pretty close in, in comparison um, but then again that all depends on your GP lottery, whether you get a card that overclocks well and whether you don't on the other ones, it's kind of hard to, to do a comparison that way because you have do have more CUDA cores on the 780 Ti, you know. You have 2880 compared to 2000 and something on the 980, so I mean they're, they're relatively close, but the 980 is a better card uh, overall because it has better better I.O. ports like you know USB or not USB but uh, HDMI I think 2.0 which can do 60 uh, frames per second or 60 Hertz at uh, 4k resolution uh, so you do have that capability you have the uh, better decoding um, you know for using shadow play seems to be more efficient uh, I haven't seen anything as far as how much more efficient than you know, the Kepler cores are, but uh, either way, it's supposed to be better there. You have an extra gig of memory, so that's pretty awesome. The GDDR5, um, better memory optimizations, and 
things like that. So even though it's the 980 is running on a 256 uh, memory bus, uh, I think it's pretty comparable to the 384-bit uh, memory bus of the 780 Ti due to the optimizations and the advancements that the 980 does have over the 780 Ti. So, uh, Anyways, that's just uh, me rambling on with uh, video card tech stuff, and um, hope you enjoyed my video. Take care. Bye.